Anna Raja Miller. I'm from Los Angeles, California. And this is my bike. I got my bike when I first came to New Orleans um, last semester, so like six months ago. And it's been really good to me. I've been riding a lot around the city, around the neighborhoods, around Tulane. And before I had a bike, it was really hard for me to get around places. Like I'd have to take a cab or find someone to drive me or walk, which can be kind of dangerous sometimes if you're walking alone. So having a bike has really opened up my opportunities to where I can go in the city. The city of New Orleans is really seven by seven miles, so you can pretty much bike anywhere in the city. And I feel really safe on a bike because if I were walking alone, um, I don't know, I I wouldn't I probably wouldn't walk places alone at night ever. But I can I feel like I can bike bike some places, not really far, but I'll bike to a friend's house off campus or I'll bike, you know, around campus and you can get from point A to point B a lot quicker than walking and you know, it feels good to have the wind in your face and I like to ride in the park by the levee. Um, I work at Banneker, so I uh, I bike to bike to the elementary school, bike around. I like biking to magazine. Um, Birth is a great street. Birth is like right off of Broadway. That's the way. That's the street I take to Banneker. It's super smooth, and um, so it's just kind of opened up doors in terms of different neighborhoods I can explore. Different places I can shop, places I can eat, um, places I can ride. Um, I've gotten a couple flats, that's the only problem is I like having these skinny tires because I can like weave in and out of cars and like go, it's really light, but I get flats a lot. So I've gotten three flat tires, which kind of sucks. I've had to buy a new tire, which kind of sucks too, but you know, whatever. It's cheaper than paying for a car and, and the streets in New Orleans suck for biking. They're they suck. They suck for driving. So biking is just worse. And there are no bike lanes anywhere, which is kind of annoying. Um, and drivers are pretty aggressive, so it's kind of difficult. You definitely have. I would recommend wearing a helmet, because um, I've heard of some people getting a pretty nasty bike accident. And you uh, definitely see a lot of a lot of families here. Mm -hmm. Bike ride. I see tons all the time on weekends. I'll see families like parents with a little baby seat on the back and their kid. And I really like that. That like, you know people are incorporating biking into their family lifestyle and kind of raising their kids with this mentality to exercise, be active, and kind of bring a sense of community. I definitely feel like riding a bike is just kind of like you're part of a club. Like if you see someone else on a cool bike, you give them a nod, you're like, hey, what's up? Like, I don't know, the same way I seem like if you like skateboard and you see someone skating, you're like, oh, yo, like well, you're cool. Like you, you're part of kind of this like family of people that like to bike. And, and especially because the weather's so nice here, it's like who doesn't want to ride a bike? Like, you know, why? Like whether it's someone just riding a beach cruiser on campus or going for like a 40 mile bike ride down the levee, like you can pretty much make it what you want. My name is Will Crary. I actually have a few bikes, um, but the one I have out here in New Orleans is a Raleigh. It's a track frame, uh, fixed gear bicycle, which means that whenever, most simply put, whenever the pedals are moving, the back wheel is moving. So if I want to slow down, I can slow down my pedals, or I could skid to stop, which is, and you can even go backwards too. Um, if you know the right streets in New Orleans, which is very important, biking can be fun. So I love to bike down Nashville or Hampson, sometimes St. Charles, but um, you, you gotta be careful because I think out here the drivers are less used to bikers than they are uh, back in LA. So like if I'm going in between a parked car and a moving car, like I gotta be very careful because they often don't really uh, like apply to the same rules that I'm used to. Mm -hmm. A lot of the main streets are pretty narrow. So uh, on St. Charles, for example, oftentimes it's just a single lane and then parked cars, so it's hard for bikers to weave in and out of that. And it's even worse for us to go onto the sidewalk, mm -hmm. just because the sidewalks are all jacked up because of the tree roots and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm.